What's up guys? Today I'm here with my friend Keller and today he is going to teach me why there's three pedals in front of me. Keller, why are there three pedals? Well, one is the clutch, one's the brake, and one's the gas. So. Alright, so clearly I'm driving manual transmission today. Uh, I've never really driven a manual transmission because I've never really had the opportunity to. Everybody in my family and everybody around me has always had automatics. So this is going to be pretty much brand new to me. Um, I have the, you know, the main concepts down. I understand what's going on, but um, this is basically the first time I've ever driven a manual car, so we're going to give it a shot, and um, we're in Keller's drift car, I mean BMW. Uh, Keller, what is this? This is a 1993 BMW 318iS. I uh, got a really good deal on this. I picked this up for about $1,800. Now, currently, the door panels aren't on it, uh, but I just have it at an upholstery shop. The motor runs great. I just rebuilt the motor about 20,000 miles ago. Um, but once I have the time, I'll make this into a good daily driver, and it does like to get sideways. It has that 50-50 weight distribution, man, so. Well, I see you already started up with the weight reduction. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, it's all in the trunk. Keep that traction in the rear. You know, you don't want to slide around too much. <laughs> yeah, right. dude, uh, let's teach you how to drive stick, stick you know, uh, driving a manual. Pretty much you can become a man today now with this, so. Finally, now all the YouTube commenters can stop hating. Yeah, so, we'll, you know, definitely an important step in, in your life, for sure. All right, well, let's go. All right, let's go. The hardest part is starting because you're taking a really heavy object and trying to move it. And so it takes a lot of force to do that. Uh, now, the way you're going to do that is with the clutch and the gas. Now, the, what the clutch does when it's fully in is you'll put it into gear. And then as you start to disengage the clutch, it has a grab point, And then it will start pretty much slowly putting the engine and the transmission together and start rotating at the same speed. Uh, so first things first. Uh, just go ahead and press the clutch all the way in and put it in first gear. Uh, now, this is what I recommend doing on any car uh, if you drive it for the first time, is just figuring out where the grab point is on the clutch. With a really old worn out clutch or certain types of clutches, the grab point might be right off the floor. This one's a little bit higher, so if you slowly start bringing your foot out more and more and more until you start to feel it, the engine almost bog a little bit right yeah. there. So that's where it's grabbing. So that's where the grab point is. So go ahead and push the clutch all the way in and uh, put it in neutral. And then go ahead and drop the parking brake. Okay, so press in, pull up, and then drop all the way down. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. yeah we'll work on handbrake turns later. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then, uh, so now do that same thing again, and then this time when it starts grabbing, you'll actually feel it start to pull the car a little bit. Okay. And do I keep letting out when I get to that point? You kind of want to hold it there until you start moving, and then once the car feels like it's moving at its own speed, uh, then uh, then you're good to go as far as to start giving it gas. Now, normally if you're in on a hill or you're in traffic, <laughs> uh, pretty much right now you're moving entirely without using any gas, pretty much, right. uh, which you can do. But in normal situations, you want to accelerate a bit quicker, or you need to if you're on a hill, and so. As you pull the clutch out, you give it gas at the same time, and it's that balance between the two of how fast you want to start, and you'll get that down. But the biggest point is, is if you can get the clutch or the, the vehicle moving, knowing where the grab point is, you've already done a good part. That's where most people stall. It's just that they give it gas way too soon, and they give it, you know, too much clutch and stuff like that. This time, uh, we're going to go ahead and try to start, and instead of just finding the grab point with your foot. Uh, once you start to feel that grab point, you're going to start giving it gas at the same time. Now, here's the mistake that people often make, is that they start giving it gas, and once they start to give it gas and they start to feel themselves move, they let off the gas. You don't want to do that, because that's, that's how you'll stall, because the engine won't be able to have enough force to keep the gears moving. What you want to do is, once you start to feel that grab point, and you start applying gas, you continue to slowly apply a little bit more pressure on the gas, and slowly apply your foot take your foot off the clutch until both are going at the same time. You don't want to kind of abandon one. Like you don't want to start giving a lot of gas and pull really hard off the clutch and you don't want to let off the clutch and not go anywhere with, or sorry, let off the gas and not go anywhere with the clutch. Okay. So once you feel that grab point, you kind of hold it about there until you start giving it more gas. You can let off it a little bit, but you stay there until, the best way I can describe it is it feels like the car is moving on its own. And then once you kind of get off uh, the stop and you start moving, then you start shifting gears and it's a lot sim more simple. And then when you shift gears, it's also important to note that you'll burn up a clutch, you know, you'll move parts that don't need to be moved if you are leaving your clutch in 
and you're giving it gas. With the clutch, you should just be in and out. And so if you're driving and you're shifting gears, and you're, so you're in second gear and you're giving it gas and you want to shift, foot completely off the gas, clutch in, shift, clutch out, and then foot on the gas again. As you start to drive more and more, you'll be able to kind of combine the two and it will become more fluid. But overall, you don't want to be giving it a lot of gas when the clutch is still in. And then the cool thing is, is that, man, if anything ever starts going wrong or you feel like panicked or whatever the case may be, neutral. Clutch in, neutral, brake brake. And, and you know, you're good to go there. When you're coming out of gear and you're going into neutral, a lot of people like to, to jiggle the shifter. That's cool though. Yeah, exactly. That's showing you know, off to everybody. I know how to drive stick. Yeah, points for style. Yeah. Uh, all that. Yeah, exactly. But uh, there are bushings down inside here that uh, will wear out over time. Uh, if you give it a little bit of a wiggle, kind of to know where you're at, no big deal. But some people, dude, they like they, they like to get it aggressive with the <laughs> stick. They really do like to get aggressive with their sticks and move them around quite a bit. So uh, with that whole side of things, you know, if you keep that to a minimum, and once again, it's not like directly hurting anything, but it will just wear parts out faster. The gearbox will become loose. Makes sense. And, you know, a lot of guys, they really don't like it loose. They like it tight. Makes sense. <laughs> so let's try to start first. Okay, so put it in two... Well, first, clutch, clutch, clutch. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, first. Yeah, so you're in first, and so start giving a little bit of gas and start laying off of the clutch. At both at the exact same time? Yeah, yeah. But once you feel that. Okay, so you stop. There we go. It's all right, it happens. And so, so what, what, well, what pretty much happened was you were starting, you found that grab point, right. and what you, the way you were able to start by using the grab point the first time without using gas is that you just stayed on that grab point long enough that the idling speed of the engine was enough to get it going. What happened this time was you let off the clutch quicker and the engine didn't have enough gas to keep it going and so it wasn't able to continue, continue going forward. There's that grab point. Okay, and so all that happened was there just wasn't enough gas you, you came out far enough on, on the clutch that there wasn't enough gas. Gas doesn't. You weren't giving it a whole lot of gas. You were going to start letting out. More gas, more gas, more gas, more gas. So, pretty much you're just not giving enough gas. Clutch in, clutch in, clutch in. Dude, I'm really good. Hey, you're getting there. It, it, on that grab point you start giving some gas and then hold gas more gas more gas more gas all right now you can hold it up yeah, you're rolling very good, very good. we're gonna go clutch all the way in put it into first gear we're going to find the grab points there it is right there so now we're gonna put a little gas and you're on your way you know, we do it with that too Now we are we're in a 1997 F250 extended bed, massive 7.3 liter turbo diesel truck. Yeah, we are. Uh, all right. So uh, if you want to go ahead and get this thing started, so go ahead and turn the key into the on position, but not fully forward to start. So your wait start light goes off. Okay. Now you're good to start it. Um, so you want to go ahead and make sure that you uh, have the clutch all the way down. So this is a four speed. It's a five speed. Uh, overdrive? Overdrive, that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So clutch all the way down and then start it up. That's it. Pull it forward. And... <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and then all right, let off so, the clutch. Well, uh, it gets your parking brake release because the parking brake's on the floor over there. So there's a little lever that you pull straight out. You'll see it. There you go. Nice. So beautiful. Go ahead and put it into second gear because remember, actually, First, I want you to see what first gear feels like. So go ahead. Am I gonna stall it in first gear? No, it's insanely torquey. Like all 550 foot pounds of torque. So that's first, or is it third? That's oh, first. first is way over there. Okay, yeah, it's a little deceiving. So go ahead and just slowly start to let out the clutch. It'll move the vehicle forward. I promise. When this starts to grab. All right. 
Now, go ahead and start giving it gas. You'll feel like you're not going to be going anywhere. You can let all the way off the clutch now. So give it gas. See, you don't go anywhere. It's just it's for pulling. Yeah, I got go you. Go ahead and shift into second. All right, give it gas. More. Oh, you're in neutral. <laughs> I'll go all, all the way to second. There you go. Now you're in second. There you go. Nice, nice. So now you can start give give more gas. Start moving forward. And now you're driving a turbo diesel, man. But yeah, second gear you pretty much use. It's like a really long first gear. You stay in second gear a bit longer than you would normally stay in first gear. You no, know, all we need now is some good old country music. Seal the deal. Stop. I want you to try to, to start the vehicle in second gear like you've been holding. Alright, so put it in second gear. And try to start it like you'd start the BMW. Remember, you have to stay on that grab point for quite a while. So go ahead and start letting off the clutch. And start giving it gas. Second gear is like a really long first gear. Here, I'd go into second, and that way you can kind of idle. You can just idle around pretty much in second. Just to idle. <laughs> Taylor, I think you need a bigger truck. Yes, yeah, it's, it's hey man, it's a pretty work truck for the company. It does it, it does what it needs to do. Okay, let's go ahead. Go ahead. I'm actually really surprised I was able to get the yeah. first truck. Here, let's go in straight. Let's go. Um, Right to about 2,000 RPMs. Get to 2,000? Yeah, and shift. That's it. Ooh, that turbo was... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll make one more loop around, and then I'll have you go straight back over there. So, go ahead and we'll make another loop around. Yeah, yeah. Did you, you're getting it. You're getting it. I think <laughs> we should make a, vis a video of you revisiting it. It'll be much better. Trust me, the second time around, once you get in these vehicles, you'll pick it up like that. And yeah, yeah, it's so much better for the second time for everybody. Uh, yeah, shift into second. Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. You just kind of got to smooth out the details. I did. We went from like a one. Yeah, put this into perspective. We went from a 1.8 liter four-cylinder engine to <laughs> a 7.3 oh, liter yeah. turbocharged <laughs> diesel. So you're kind of experiencing the two extremes right now. Yeah. Uh, for sure. And uh, we just got to get a sports car. Oh, there you go. You see, you just let off the clutch really hard, and the, the wheels were spinning because they had to readjust to that new speed you were throwing at it. Um, okay, so, we, so basically, let off the clutch a little bit. Slow. Soft. Okay. Yeah, and let it ease into it. Turbo diesel experience. Color man, thank you very much no for problem. teaching me. I had a lot of fun. Um, we'll, we'll revisit this. We'll right. revisit this. We'll, we'll turn you into an expert driver. Sounds good, man. Turn you into an expert driver. All right, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.